Hello everyone. Welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. You know you're part of the way. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're not a part of Grateful Gang, we'd love to have you over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're grateful. We do digital budgeting and all the other things, saving challenges. Now we're about to start off on the debt snowball, just trying to make it in this economy that has just been interesting. That's all I'm going to say. So today's video, I'm actually going to take the time to go over some of your responses to my video that I posted yesterday. Um, and I really want to start off by saying I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful for you all for taking the time out of your day. A lot of these answers, if not all of them, were very thoughtful, very thought out. And I just wanted to take the time to recognize those first people that hit me up in like the first 23 or 24. Um, if you don't know, today is I'm Storm. <laughs> today is um, Superhero Day at Work. And yesterday was pajama day, and y'all saw me in my pajamas if y'all watched yesterday's video. So this wig, this little $10 wig from Amazon, though, is annoying, hot, and itchy, but it's a vibe. <laughs> so let's get right into this so we're not on here too long. Uh, let me see. Let me move my face over here. Okay, so this was my video yesterday, see pajamas, <laughs> and it says, I need your help going over my budget line by line, fourth quarter budget snowball, and I'm a single budgeter, digital budgeter, Google Sheets, all that things. So here are some of your responses, and I'm going to read your responses, and I'm going to tell you what I think about your responses. Of course, I'm going to take some time to keep praying on it, and we'll see by the next time or by September what I choose to do, but all of these were amazing, y'all. I think I responded to everybody. So First, we have Bearing It with Candace, and it says, I would keep the emergency funds there. Discover is currently at 0%. Candace, this is over in November, so that was my only concern. I didn't want to keep just making minimums and then miss it. But then she said, but if you think you might forget to pay it, which is what I was thinking, you're doing an amazing job, Tara. You're working with what you have. Oh my God, times are tough. But think about those cash envelopes. If you keep having money left over in them, you can roll them into emergency funds. So Candace, first of all, thank you so, so very much for responding. She's one of my, a lot, everybody pretty much, except for one or two on here, were like my OG Grateful Gang 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 members. I see y'all. I know y'all. I love y'all. Candace is definitely one of them. And Candace, you're I am going to keep in mind that, you know, life is tough. So emergency fund is very important right now. The Discover card is at zero percent. However, it's going to come off of that soon. And I don't want to be hit with a whole bunch of interest. So, um, but I like how you say, if you think I might forget it. And then thank you for the encouragement that I'm doing an amazing job. And acknowledging that times really are hard because she does talk a lot on her channel about lifestyle creep and that getting caught up in all of getting more and more while your paycheck, if you get more money. But unfortunately for me, my car was totaled. It wasn't a choice to get a new car. Yes, I bought a house, but I had bought one that was in my means. And then the, the, the market turned ridiculous and all the taxes went up. So it wasn't like I had a lifestyle creep. It was almost like life creeped up on me. <laughs> and so, and she's so thoughtful and so, so wonderful. So, but thank you again for bringing up the point of the cash envelopes that I can save some of the money to roll my cash envelopes and use it towards my emergency fund, which is definitely what I'm considering doing for sure. So thank you so much for that, Candace. Next, we have Tamika Jones, another OG Grateful Gang member. She says, hey, Tara, I would pay off my Discover from the emergency fund and put the $35, which is the minimum payment of the Discover right now, to build it back up, praying for extra funds to come in to get everybody, everything knocked out. Thank you so much, Tamika. Great advice. She's actually one of the people who helped me get a little bit of money from a little part-time work from home gig one time. I see you. I love you. I know you. And um, I am considering taking the Discover money out, not 100%, but taking the extra $35 to put to the emergency fund to build it back up is a great idea. But and then I'm also thinking like if I get ready to discover, I'm kind of like at a negative. So I don't know that I'll be able to throw any money towards anything because I need the extra money to put towards the budget. But yeah, another great idea. You guys are so great. And then Carrie5362, this name doesn't ring a bell, but when I tell you 
that this was very encouraging as well. It says something I can do on a really tight month. Something I do, something she does on a really tight month is reduce or no spend grocery budget. I love this idea, Carrie. Like I was like, you know, sometimes we don't even think about like a pantry challenge instead of putting the $80 every two weeks towards the groceries. Maybe I just take $20 for fresh stuff that I need to buy and just shop my pantry for the month of September. This is something I'm highly considering. So thank you so much, Carrie. This is why I really rely on you guys. I be asked, I ask because I want to know. And then because because I tend to have a stockpile of food that I forget I have or is in the back of the freezer cabinets, etc. Keep it up. You got it. Thank you so much, Carrie, for the encouragement as well. And you're right. There's probably stuff in my pantry that I literally can use and make to make a full meal. So, and in the freezer and things like that. So you're absolutely right. That is something I'm highly, highly considering. So next is Sabrina Budgets, which is another, a, you know, another girly of mine, definitely OG grateful gang member going through her own. She has a channel as well. Candace has a channel. Callie, did I miss Callie? Oh girl, I got a reverse. Sabrina has a channel, but I'll be real. Let me get let me get back to Callie. I missed her. Callie Girl Living is another one of my OG Grateful Gang members as well. Love her. She's so happy birthday, Callie. Is her birthday today? I think it was today or yesterday, but happy birthday. No, it was yesterday. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday. So Awesome budgeting video, Tara. I'm praying for a financial breakthrough for all of us because times are tough out here in these budgeting streets. I personally wouldn't put money, pull money out of my emergency fund. I like the cushion, but I support you in whatever decision you do. So she was more there for support and she did have an opinion on the emergency fund. She doesn't feel like I should take it out. And I'm very much, I do understand because I like to have a cushion as well. As much as I absolutely believe in God and that God will always provide. I like to try to be a good steward of my money and have some money in the in the emergency fund. So yeah, I'm not even though I said I was gonna take the um the cell phone and the discover out, I might just take one of them out. And and that's what I'm leaning towards right now. So I just want to share with you guys kind of where I'm leaning as well. So then we have, going back to Sabrina, another OG Grateful Gang member. And she says, hey, Tara. Hey, Bruno. I love the snowball method. I think you should keep your emergency fund because life is always be life in. Paying off Discover first and then add the minimum towards the next, so on and so forth. You got this. So thank you for the encouragement, Sabrina. And she is basically saying as well, don't really touch your emergency fund. And to just do this, she just basically broke down what the snowball method, which is what we talked about yesterday, just to pay off the discover and then use the payment that we're using for the discover for the next thing, which would be the cell phone payments. So thank you so much. And yeah, we do got this because I know she's on her own journey of paying off debt as well. Mind Your Money also has another channel. Y'all hear me talk about her all the time. That's my girl, Tasha. She is a ride or die OG Grateful Gang member. Gang, gang, gang. And so my, she says, my suggestion is to pay off the Discover card. Hold on, y'all. I can't see. Okay. Pay off the Discover card and split the 35 payments into the $35 payment into two, 20 to go towards the cell phone equipment and 15 towards the emergency fund. Love this suggestion as well. And so I'm not sure if she's telling me to thank you so much, Tasha. I'm not sure if she's telling me to pay off the Discover with the emergency fund or just work on paying off the Discover in general. And then to take the extra $35 to move towards cell phone and 15 towards emergency fund. So obviously she's also saying, everybody's saying the emergency fund is very important right now. So that's what I'm getting from a lot of these comments. I do want to mention something with the cell phone though. With the cell phone bill, I need to talk to them because I'm concerned that if I start making extra payments on the cell phone bill, it will mess up the discount that I'm getting on my cell phone bill. So the discount that I get right now is like an additional $17 off the equipment. So it makes the equipment only $25 a month. I'm afraid that if I start inputting extra money, it will throw off my discount, but I will call them and find out first because that is also not a bad plan. And I, I really, really like that. And so, um, 
JB's Two Cents. I just talked about her on yesterday's video. That's my girl as well. Grateful Gang OG member. Y'all are coming through, okay? I have some ride or die people and I love y'all. I cannot say it enough. So she says, oh, read more. <laughs> if you're able to pay off the phone, I would do that and maybe switch over to something like Mint Mobile. I've heard they are affordable and pretty reliable. I would knock out the Discover card and start using the towards your next debt. I would maybe try a food bank for help supplement food such as canned snacks and snack goods and snacks. Lastly, if you can for the holidays, maybe do a part time and try to stack up on savings and sinking funds. JB, shout out to you. You threw in there about like the first person on this list right now. I think there's another person we mentioned is about getting another source of income. Y'all know I don't want to. I really don't want another part time job. I don't want to work extra. I don't want to do it. Like if I was just doing overtime at my real job, at my real job, but my full time job, that would be different because I feel like I'm already there, but they don't allow me to do overtime because I'm salary. But it hurts my heart to think about having to get a part time job. It's just so annoying unless it's going to be something that I can do from home or something that has a super flexible schedule. So, Lord, if there's something that is out there for me and let that come to fruition, because I really I really don't. But I know she's right because right now I'm trying to cut, cut, cut. I've cut a lot down and I'm still kind of in need of money. So the next next thing, if you can't cut anymore, is to find another source of income. So JB, thanks for pointing that out as well. Um, and I do plan on knocking out Discover and put the rest of the words debt. Now, I do like your suggestion about food banks and things like that because I never really consider going to food banks or things like you know, place where you can eat groceries, but I am going to start looking into places that do get that because, you know, in your head, I, in my head, I'm always like, I don't want to take from someone who doesn't have any income or anything like that. But honestly, my budget is in the negative. So I am that someone right now. Like I'm not always going to be that someone, but I am that someone right now. So it is something I'm going to be looking into. Um, I don't think I'm going to switch my service, although I have heard of Mint Mobile and all of that. I might look into it, but I've been with my carrier for so long. I'm just used to it. I know that's not the right answer, but that's that's just me. So thank you, girl. And then next, we have another one. She's really long, and she's new to me, I think. Deborah Takawa. Mm -mm, I'm going to mess you all up, girl. Sorry. Deborah Takagawa, four seven six. My bad if I messed that up, girl. My bad. However, she says, hello. I went back to look at some of the numbers again before making a comment. Thank you for being thorough. Um, try calling State Farm to raise your deductible to the next level so your premiums are lower. Don't take from your emergency fund. Just leave it as is. Reduce the funding of your sinking funds by $100. Keep $22 using $15 for emergencies, emergency fund. Keep your variables as they are, but scoop any leftovers into your debt at the end of the month. That's kind of like what um, Candace had said. And based on your budget numbers, your budget will still be over. So I think you need to see if you can get a side hustle for about six months. So like I said, Deborah Takagawa is the next one who had mentioned maybe getting something. And maybe that's the way I need to think about it. It doesn't have to be long term. It could just be for the holidays, like... Um, JB had said just for the holidays or like Deborah said, just for six months, maybe if I can think about it in a three to six month capacity or shorter period of time, just to kind of stack some paper, maybe I can let myself do it because I'm really like super against it right now, <laughs> but I know I shouldn't be because I need to. Um, but yes, I don't think I have any room to move on my variables. And yes, like Candace says, I should save as much as I can and then scoop that into the emergency fund or whatever I'm working on next. Um, I think I'd already talked about reducing those sinking funds. So I think she's just confirming. She also does not want me to take from my emergency fund. That's been a lot of, a lot of people have been saying that. And then try calling State Farm. So I did talk to State Farm already, but I did not talk about raising my deductible. And the reason I didn't do that is I know it's an option and I know it'll bring my rate down, but the way that people like to just hit my car, me having to play a higher deductible just doesn't work for me. I would, if the only way I would do that is if I was able to put like a thousand dollar deductible aside in like a insurance account. Now, when I'm able to do that, then I might call them back and do that. But for now, I'm just like, no, <laughs> I don't want to put myself in that type of situation. My car has been hit from the back and left, you know, the hit and run. 
And then my poor little new car was just sitting there and they hit that, you know, on accident. All these are accidents or I don't know about the other one. They're all, yeah, all of them were accidents. And I just don't have enough money saved, I don't think, to have that higher of a deductible to be in my in, in sight. So as much as I think that's a great idea, it's not for me. Now, the reason, another reason I'm sharing all of this, you guys, is because I feel like some of these people have amazing ideas. And if you're in the same boat as me, if you can do these things, definitely do them. So we only have two more left, you guys. I was hoping this is going to be less than 15 minutes, but we're almost done. So Desiree Wealth, boo, you change. Yeah, no, I desire wealth. That's all right. Hey, boo, another faithful gang member. Gang, gang, gang. And she says, hey, Tara, I've seen good workouts on TikTok, especially modifications for chair usage. Yes, knock that cell phone equipment off. Good job for budget billing. Are you able to pay for Kinemaster for a year? And if so, is it cheaper? A lot of great things she touched on here. I think she's the only one who mentioned who did refer to me leaving the gym and doing like YouTube and things like that. And she was saying how TikTok has really good things, especially if you don't, you know, my knees have been hurting lately and stuff like that. So she's saying chair workouts and things like that might be something that I would like to look into. So great. Thank you. I don't have the TikTok, but I might, <laughs> you know, it's free. And then she says, uh, she thinks that I should knock off the equipment for the cell phone. So I'm actually leaning towards, if I'm going to take anything out of my emergency fund, I'm leaning towards taking the credit card out and just paying off the cell phone the way that Tasha kind of said to do it. And then <clears throat> if I can, and thank you for acknowledging that I signed up for budgeting, budget building with my Georgia Power and I will look into the KineMaster thing. I have looked into that in the past and they were not offering yearly payments, but maybe that's changed. And if it has, I'll see if it's, it is worth doing the yearly payment. Cause yes, you're right. It usually is cheaper. And then last but not least friends, we have Forrest and Novak who is new to me. I don't know if you've ever, but you're not, you know, thank you. There's no knock to you or anything. Just not a name I recognize, but he has to say, I just pay the Discover card only. The emergency fund is for emergency only, not extra money to spend out of. Less you have the money come back in a month or two, you will be fine the way to get out of it. You will find a you will find the way to get out of it. So basically what he's saying is he doesn't mind, I'm assuming, doesn't mind me paying the Discover card off because he feels that as like debt, debt pay that out of the emergency fund and the emergency fund don't use anything else for the emergency fund because that emergency fund is just for emergency. Um, I absolutely get that. He's very like Dave Ramsey-ish, which is good. It keeps you on task. And um, he believes that, like, he'd only think that I should use the emergency fund on other things if I know I'm going to get it back in the next month or two. And then and that way it'll be fine and I can get out of it. But or I'll find other ways to get out of debt, something like that, he said. So thank you so much, Forrest, because that is true. Emergency funds are for emergency. Um, I am, so after all of that, you guys, this is what I've been thinking. Like I said, none of this is 100%, but what I've been thinking is um, yes to only taking maybe the Discover payment out of the emergency fund. And I know I have $100 coming right back, so... That's kind of going to offset that. And to just, I liked the food bank idea. I liked everybody's ideas. So I'm going to try and take all of you guys' ideas and see what I can incorporate in my budget and in my life to do in September. So I just really wanted to do this video to say thank you guys. Thank you so much. I know everybody didn't get a chance to, to watch it, but I just wanted to come and thank those people who hit me up in the first 24 hours, 23, 24 hours. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of them were my OG members. And for all those who weren't the Grateful Hand OG members, thank you for commenting anyway. I hope you've subscribed. And thank you for your valid, thoughtful, pertinent information. It's so helpful. And for anybody else who was looking for ideas, they gave some good to be great. You're the grateful. And I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. And it's faith over fear this year, but not just this year, but what? Forever, forever, ever, 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 